Hey guys, Guru here with Smart Lead and we are very very excited to bring you Smart Service. Here's a quick walk through as to how you can use the feature and what is currently available and what's coming soon for you. So, when you log into Smart Lead, you'll see the Smart Service early access uh, section here and here you'll see the list of any Smart Service that you've already bought and to buy a new one you can click add smart server we are currently providing USS a region but soon we'll be adding more regions as per users request so if there's any please let us know in the channel so that uh, we can bring you the regions that you need so here and you can buy up to 10 servers at a time and yeah uh, so we'll buy one for now click on complete purchase and what happens here is you have the number of servers the region you've selected and the total price and you make the secure payment and there it is you will be redirected to a new screen where you'll be able to see the server that you've purchased and it's getting ready so what we are doing in the background is we are purchasing a new server we are seeing what kind of security patches have to be made we are uploading all the code that makes smart server great and make sure that your deliverability is high and we're also checking if the server is blacklisted so if it is we just uh, get you a new server so that your deliverability is not impacted and you are good to go right from the box so yeah usually it takes about uh, two to three minutes to get this done when the server is newly instantiated what happens is you get a default name a randomly generated name with SL serve uh, as the prefix but the good thing is you will be able to edit it once it's available for use and you've gone into the page for example let's see this one here you are able to see this uh, smart server and you click this and you will be able to change the name of the server Within this page, we'll soon be bringing in analytics so that you see how your uh, server is performing, how it's impacting your deliverability and what kind of value you are deriving from it. That is our next course of action. And you'll also be able to cancel your subscription if need be. Let's go back here. See, it's available for use. Now, there is no assignment yet. This smart server isn't running any campaigns but what we can do is we can go to email campaigns so you can assign a campaign or assign a server to a campaign with one of two ways you can either create a new campaign you save it save and next as usual You select the accounts, schedule campaign as usual. Let's bring it down to five. Choose the time zone, I'm from India, so I'm choosing Calcutta. And this should be good. And now, this is where you select your server. So you're going to modify settings. Let's say, demo for smart server. And you assign a smart server. The cool thing about smart servers is you'll be able to see what the current workload is for each of these servers so that you can split it among your uh, servers so that your deliverability and efficiency is not impacted. We'll get to these numbers in a minute, but yes, now that we've selected it, let's go. Excellent. Now you have a smart server running and you click and save next. You start the campaign skip it for now and we are good to go and how do you know this because you have a dedicated smart service tab within your campaign page you go in here you want to change your smart server your deliverability is not that good you'll be able to do that here you want to remove a smart server association and move it back to the shared IP pool 
go ahead it's here and just make sure when you make any change that you click the save button and that's it you are good to go now what do you do if if you already have a campaign in progress and then you want to add it well you go to the campaigns page let's find this one okay this is an in progress campaign and what you can do here is you can click smart service we haven't assigned anything yet so there's assign smart service let's find one that's not in use currently you update it and then you save it that's it you've assigned a new smart server to the campaign we take the utmost care to see if the ip associated with the smart server is blacklisted or not before you even get to use it so that you can rest assured in terms of what the ip reputation is because we make sure that we get the top notch ips for you and the same remains you can change it or delete it if you want to this is what we've built so far for smart service this is just the starting point this is for the early access users but what we have coming up next for you guys is something that we are very excited about for example we have client allocation and management right now we allow association at a campaign level but soon you'll be able to allocate it to clients and individual clients you'll be able to auto rotate based on the load that is placed on the service for example you set a limit daily limit for around 1000 uh, emails per server and you have multiple servers you'll be able to automatically rotate it and also have bounce rate protection on those so you set the threshold and it immediately pauses or auto rotates based on your preference this is something that we've been building for a while this is something that we hope helps improve your deliverability in terms of numbers we suggest 80 to 100000 emails per month per server and we also suggest starting slow and then ramping it up we also suggest you start slow in terms of sending volume and then ramp it up slowly a bounce rate threshold that you should keep in mind for now manually and soon it will be automatically managed is 1 to 1.5% so yes this is what we've built for you and i really hope that uh, you derive the value that we hope you derive out of it we are very excited to bring you this and any comments and any suggestions are welcome uh, thanks for taking your time to go through smart servers in the early access period and happy holidays